Hey Measuring Hero, I'm Anna. Today, as promised before, we are back to the Rit Mio. I'm here again with Professor Dr. Prince, who is the director of the museum, and with Professor Dr. Hocker, who is the head curator of the museum. We have today a very special task. We are going to talk about the Arit Mohel, a very special machine that was used for calculation in the past. So, what can you tell me about this system? This system is a prototype mm -hmm. of the Arit Morel, mm -hmm. and this machine has been built uh, in 1848 and has been exhibited in 1849 in Paris uh, in an exhibition called Exposition des produits de l'industrie française. And this machine uh, won the gold medal. Okay, so what makes this machine so special? It was the fastest machine of the 19th century. Before that, you could calculate with calculating machines and you were happy if you had a correct result. But with this machine, you could not only calculate, but you could also do fast calculations. Why it was that fast, uh, this we found out when we did the restoration of this machine. Okay, so you have done the restoration of this system here in the museum yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. so the restoration took about uh, two years because this machine has about uh, 2,000 pieces. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we had to dismantle the machine completely and then to reassemble. Mm -hmm. So first we have to say that this machine has a special uh, mechanism mm -hmm. uh, which uses, in fact, uh, planetary gear wheels. Mm -hmm. So I can show you on this picture. Um, is this is a top view of this machine and you can recognize here the famous planetary gears. The planetary gear system is a very compact system. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, we cannot see inside. You have to disassemble the machine to see inside. Mm -hmm. So if I understand correctly, you have also a very similar system that uh, you also want to look inside. But yes, this is mm -hmm. a commercial Arit Morel, mm -hmm. but we never disassemble this machine because uh, it will take probably uh, one year to do this. So, so we but we really want to compare yeah. it with this machine because uh, we want to know if Morel improved his ideas mm. and his invention from the prototype to the later produced machine. Okay, you have this other machine here, yes, right? Yes, of course. Shall we take a look at yes. that? Yes. Okay, yes. so let's go. go. So here she is, the second machine. Yes, this is true. This is a commercialized Arit Morel and it's really fantastic because here we can show you what was so fascinating with this machine. So here's the input of a number. I take uh, just one, one number and then now I can turn the little key and make the, we make the input mm -hmm. one time and second time and for example one time more and we have 12 times the input number and the result is here. So it was really fast. Okay, so it's a multiplication machine. Yes, mm -hmm. mainly an automatic multiplication machine. Mm -hmm. And what makes it different from the uh, machine that we've seen before? Uh, this machine is smaller mm -hmm. for industrial reasons mm -hmm. and they remove the second mechanism. You have only one mechanism on this machine mm -hmm. and one row of windows. So mm -hmm. this is just to show the results of a multiplication, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is we see really all from outside, <laughs> but not really all, all because here are also planetary gear wheels inside, these tiny gears, mm -hmm. and this we want to see in detail inside. But to see it inside, we w should open the machine, and we know it's very complicated and it takes a long time. So if you could help us with this, it would be great. Yeah. Great, so it sounds like a challenge. If I am allowed to take the machine back to Oberkochen, I know someone who could help us. Okay, I go to take the suitcase. Hi, Tobias. Hello, hi. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice. So we are here with our guests, Professor Dr. Prince and Professor Dr. Hocker, and we were wondering if you could help us. We've been to Bonn, 
We've investigated this amazing historical artifact, this calculating machine, uh, but we need to look inside what's going on there. So, and we are not either allowed to destroy it, not sure. to deassemble it. Yes. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, of course, right. So, perfect. So, we're standing here in front of a CT, so we can use X-ray to have a non-destructive view into the sample. Okay, so let's get to it. Sure. Okay, so the scan is now finished and yeah. we can switch from the data acquisition part uh -huh. to the volume inspection part. Okay. Then here you see the 3D surface of the sample, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the Orit Morel. And yes, now we you can recognize it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. And uh, now we can do the virtual duty slices on every position that you want to. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we can go here directly into the volume. Okay, so this is already a step round. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. And scroll through. Oh, this yes. is here we can yeah. see the notch with the pin inside so that it turned a certain angle and so it's already in the in the movement of the calculation. So it's very nice. So we can go a little bit more to the front. Yes. Uh, yes, this one is a nice one. We can see the central uh, control cylinder uh, with a Maltese uh, disc. So it's here yeah, one Maltese disc. And what is interesting, we can see that the second part of the cylinder uh, is empty. And this is for a free rotation of the Maltese uh, disc. Mm -hmm. And then you can turn and count the number so you want. So it's a special secure mechanism because the machine is that fast that uh, we have to as a, as a constructor, I wanted to control that the movement is only done when it should be done and not okay. turn yeah. too, too long or too fast. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, these are the planetary mm -hmm. gears. Yes. <laughs> yes, and we can see very well here. Uh, for example, here the sun gear wheel. Here we have the planet uh, gear wheel and here the ring gear wheel or universe gear wheel. And it's very accurate because uh, we can see also the holders of the planet uh, here, gear wheel. This yeah. one. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. here. And we can count the teeth, which is very important because we want to compare it with the prototype of this mm -hmm. machine mm -hmm. and to see if he um, developed another, another uh, mechanism of his planetary gears for this, for, mm -hmm. the, for the later machine, which we have a look at now. And so it's really nice because we can count teeth, which we want to do later. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it seems to be really, really small. How, yeah. how big is the yeah. diameter? Can you measure? Let's see. Yeah, of course, we can measure here. So we have a measurement software, so let's measure. So I guess it's very small. I guess it's maybe About four or five millimeters. I don't know. It's let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the software says distance is four, roughly four millimeters. Four millimeters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay so okay, this yes. is good. Mm -hmm. This is good. And what is interesting with this uh, technique is we can see inside mm -hmm. because from outside the, you cannot see a planetary gear system. It's mm -hmm. totally closed and you have to disassemble the machine to see uh, inside. Okay. And it's not always possible or if it's possible it takes a long time. Like what one or two years, oh, for wow, example. Okay. okay. So, so it's very, very long nice and it's it very, very <laughs> nice without disassembling the machine. In, so, 20 so in 20 minutes. In 20 years. minutes. Compared, so compared to one year. Yeah, is, one year or two years, this is uh, already very good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. thank you very much thank for you. this very nice. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, Great. Yeah, yeah. Thank Presides. you very much. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, I have learned a lot today. Uh, a new measuring hero. I hope you also have learned a lot. So, make sure to subscribe to our vlog and see you next time. Bye bye.